In our previous video, we talked about the scales having hashtags on each viewport and how the fields did not know which viewport to hook up with to find the scale. Now, if we zoom in on our separate viewports this time, you'll see that none of them actually have a scale associated with them right now. So zoom in on the top view here, first of all, and we'll look at placing a field that links to this viewport specifically to get the scale showing in the text there. Now, just before we start, again, our admin, 04 fields for viewport scales is the drawing that we're using. The complete drawing will be the complete finished drawing that we're using for the video. If you want to follow along with the video, you want 04 fields for viewport scales dot DWG. So I've zoomed in on that top view and there's some multi-line text here. So I just double click on it to edit the multi-line text. So you can see there that our ribbon changes and goes to the text editor. Now, all I'm going to do here is pan upwards a little bit like so, so that I've got that right at the top of the screen so I can see what I'm doing. I click inside the text editing area and I right click once. Now on the shortcut menu that appears, can you see it there? Insert field. So I click there like so and that will bring up the field dialog box. I'm going to drag that over here so that I can see my text as well. Now you'll notice in the field category, we've got a pull down. We're going to select objects. And then here we select object in the field names. We go to the middle column now. See the button there? Select object. I click there and it will take me into the drawing area. I put my pick box on the edge of the viewport there, the line, and click. Now it gives me all the properties of that particular viewport. I want standard scale. See the preview in the box there? We leave everything as is and click on OK. There's our one to two scale for that viewport only. So I go over here now and close the text editor. And I've now got a scale of one to two for that particular viewport. Now, the reason that it's one to two is we set that previously when we did the clipping viewport here for this one. And then we set these two rectangular viewports up and made them one to two as well. So I can now zoom in here on my side view. Same again, I can double click on the text. Text editor is there. I'll drag upwards again, like so. And then I click there just after the equals, right click, insert field. Good thing is, can you see it remembers what I did last time? So all I've got to do this time is make sure that I select object, click on the edge of the viewport, which is just missing. So I need to just pan down a little bit and then click there, like so. I make sure I go for standard scale, which again is one to two because we've already set it at one to two. Click on OK. There's my scale. Close the text editor. Job done. If I zoom out again now and go to my end view here, again, I'll just pan upwards a little bit, get that in place there, double click on the text, click once after equals and then right click, insert field. Again, it remembers, so I go to select object. Again, I need the viewport, so maybe pan downwards a little bit. Make sure you get an edge of the viewport there. Again, standard scale, one to two, OK, and there's my scale. And I click on close text editor there on the ribbon. If I now just do a double click on the wheel to zoom extents, you can see that they're all scaled nice and neatly, and I can save that drawing. So that's how you can utilize AutoCAD fields for your viewport scales. Now, the benefit you have there is if you change the scale of any of those three viewports here that are linked, using the fields, what will happen is if you save the drawing or regenerate the drawing, this field will update with the current viewport scale. It's a neat trick and it saves you having to go in and change the text all the time because it adapts to the current viewport scale. So that's how you use your fields for viewport scales when you're plotting and publishing in AutoCAD.